guys, today I'm going to show you the, hopefully the last setup video this will be, because my biggest problem with the integration itself is that it, it felt very uh, clunky, there was too much in the animation blueprint, if you had multiple movesets you're going to have to scroll for years down to get to something, which is very annoying. Uh, my biggest problem was the already existing ACF moveset, which was not mostly used for that character, for the character, which is mainly was left for the AI. That was always there, which is just empty variables you have to, f to scroll through, which is very annoying. So, I didn't want to do this in the beginning, but I have decided to do it right now. Uh, big disclaimer. After you do this setup, this will reset every animation blueprint that you have. Like every uh, move set that you had will be reset. Uh, the actions and the montages and everything like that, they will not be touched. But all the m uh, move sets that already existed, they will be reset. Just a disclaimer. Like if you have AI and stuff like that, they will be reset. If you have a big project like a massive project that you already have like 30 or 40 AI already set up and like you're way into development and you want to add this in contact me privately I will try to get in a day or two I'll try to get a version for you out that doesn't do this but you'll still have to like you'll have to figure out how you're gonna do that like for me for scalability I think this is perfectly reasonable. I mean, the setup itself is not that much extra. It's just that you'll kind of have to add your own animation, like your own movesets again. Um, okay, so let's try to do this. I have my my project already here. It's a freshly unzipped sample. Okay, and this right here is what you're gonna get from me. Like usual. So I created a plugins folder in here. It's still empty. I'll go to grab my ACF. Control C. Plugins, let's put it here. And let's grab this and put it here. Okay. Now before we go and edit everything just so I can be sure all is good. Just copy these two and paste them here and replace the existing files. Alright. Now plugins, ACF um, source, send combat framework, public, animation. ACF any upset. Let's open that up. And let's get that folder that you get for me. Open this up. Okay. It says from under line 52, delete all and paste this. Let's see line 52. Let's get there. Line 52. Where is it? Under line 52. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's not much. To delete that. Let's enter. Control V. Make sure everything is all good. Okay, let's save. Now the one little extra setup is that I'm going to have to go back here to the CF name set. It's going to go to the combat framework. Let's go back. Plugins, combat framework, source, combat framework, private, animation, and ACF animations.cpp. Alright, control F will let you search for words in here, write additive. 
the first one you can see at line 29 here add ACF locomotion and a point right because right now this stuff was directly into the current moveset struct and I added the a ALS overlay structs and everything underneath it but it was not just leaving those six variables or seven variables just floating around empty is just not scalable so this is the first line and then go back to clicking on edit again enter enter this is not what you need and here we go 246 the same thing ACF locomotion and a point and then you can build you're gonna save this you can't build from this because it's a uh, save it close this actually don't need it all right now we can go back to our project right click generate visual studio files So I really hope that you guys don't get super annoyed about this. It's for the greater good, trust me. Alright, now I should be able to open it without even needing to build. Oh this is this is a fresh sample, so you guys will have to go in the uh, I'll do that too. Okay, the build is done and it directly launched the project for me. Um, you're gonna see that these guys are morphed because they don't have an aim offset. But we'll come back to that in a bit. Uh, I'm gonna close this, open this. then can build from here it will do just the same okay all right um, let's open up our project after you've done your build and let's see what the what the errors that we need to fix so you need to go to ascent combat framework and you're gonna here you're gonna search for base ABB. Let's click on it. This guy should be morphed. So here's the tedious parts of this. Is that you're gonna have to go this is aim offset, you're gonna have to break this struct. Just break it. And get the aim offset from that. Uh, hide unconnected pins and just get the aim offset plug it in. Let's do it for all of them, right? This is gonna take a while, guys. You can just skip through.
you guys no need me to show me doing all of this, but why not, right? Seven of them, to be exact. And ten move says that's seventy variables. I got to this conclusion while while I'm trying to do multiple move sets to try them out and everything, and having four move sets was just already too much. Let's go to our sample for those who actually are using the sample or whatever it is. You're gonna have to fill in the movesets. They're still here, right? You're gonna know. It's an ACF locomotion now, they're under ACF locomotion. So this is will be unarmed. Person shooter, DPS example, third person start. This is I said combo to my mark. Yep. This is it. I am not going to fill in all the moves that's here, guys. So it's just this one. They will be in their main movesets in the beginning, as you can see. This guy is just fine now. They're all just fine. Now, the integration itself, what has changed? I'm gonna quickly cover a little bit of this stuff, because I'm gonna have another video covering this, that later. So, now you, you won't have a thousand million classes, it's just one class for each. This class, right here, open it up you'll see that the epico code done by silver it's missing so you're gonna have to go grab it yourself I did this so you, because it was useless uh, errors because most of you guys will probably use this with an already existing project which now that I think about it I'm sorry that you're gonna have to do this but <laughs> Sometimes this stuff happens, guys. So, let's put this guy to play with him. Uh, well, everything should work. Because I'm using the controller that's given in the sample already, so I don't need to add any code or anything like that. But uh, the one that's given with the integration for you to just try out the character without needing to create a new 
controller or whatever instantly. It doesn't have inventory code, you're gonna have to get that yourself. Um, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like it. I am going, I'm working right now on the devlog, the movesets, I want to get out the showcase video of what I can do with this, what anybody can actually do with this in a short period of time when it comes to especially how things look, how animations, how I will do a small little project like a, a really small sandbox with a couple of enemies and abilities and stuff and yeah, this video has been very very long for a setup video, I am extremely sorry, but <laughs> I hope that you will not have to do any more setups anymore after this, I hope this will be the final setup video, I really do hope so, and I want to thank you guys, like, this video is for you guys who already are already supporting me and everything so I want to really appreciate what you guys allowing me to do so thank you very much and I hope you guys have a good one see you later